whenever we're doing a submission, we want to have as much of our body involved in that submission as possible. And that's one of the funny things about, you know, the way that I do things. A lot of times you'll see me doing a submission. It'll look like I'm straining quite a bit because I'm, the stressing mechanics are harder to apply. You're going to use more strength to apply those stressing mechanics. But then the breaking mechanics are just a little tiny step above that. So I'll look like I'm doing a lot of work sometimes by focusing on these stressing mechanics. I'm using, I'm trying to use my whole body. I'm trying to stress the joint as much as possible, but not actually break it. And then by the time I get around to breaking it, it doesn't actually look like I did anything. You know, it's, if you, if you look at it on video, it looks like, you know, there's maybe even no movement at all. For me, that's an ideal submission is when you're looking at it from the outside and you're like, I didn't think that was quite there or it, it didn't look like, you know, anything was actually happening. It just looked like this one little tiny extra movement and everything threatened to blow up. That's the way I approach all joint locks mm-hmm. is through that breaking and stretching mechanics and, and exploring the different ways that they interplay together.